The Raven's Flock presents The Black Files, an uncensored interview and review podcast for all geek fandom. Welcome, everybody, friends and pals, guys and gals, boys and girls around the world. Pop a squat, pop open a cold one with all of your uh, friends. It is uh, Wednesday night. It's a couple of hairs past 10 p.m. And you've been granted access to the uncensored and uncompromising interview and review podcast of the Ravens Flock. So whether you're a friend or you're a fiend, boy, girl, or in between, you are tuned in to a brand new episode of The Black Files. Yeah! All right, all right. Happy to be here uh, on Wednesday night on March 27th, the final uh, the final Wednesday uh, uh, to wrap up this month as we head to April. Appreciate that, Jose. Thank you for always like always keeping us calendarically uh, apprised of our place and time. I don't know why you have to do that specifically, but uh, I don't have an issue with it. Welcome, folks, to the Black Files. I'm your host, Juan Rouse, uh, one of the heads of the Ravens Flock, the tech guru of the team. I am the dude who uh, was very perturbed at simple mistakes when it comes to uh fixing stuff in front of the cameras for example i have the wrong lens on here if you guys notice i appear a lot closer to you than normal that's because i have the wrong lens on i can fix that in a second um but i'll get the, i'll get that done in a moment and of course i am not alone tonight joining me are the usual suspects first off let's go ahead and say hello to uh zayana rose and dragon fan cosplay ladies say hi where did they go? Are what? They- well, that's right that. here. Roll hear the credits. No, there. No, it was just you weren't. It, it wasn't. Uh, for some reason, we couldn't hear you. That's oh. weird. Wow. We literally said hello at the same time. That's weird. Zoom hates us. Zoom, Zoom hates us. Zoom has an agenda against us tonight. Zoom does not like twins. I guess just not. Just for <laughs> us. I guess not. It's uh, like, well, Zoom's being very, uh, uh, very, uh, Zoom's being very, very picky. Selective. Uh, and also joining us here is the living head of the Ravens flock, a man with a million opinions and zero apologies and host of Los Amigos play, which is live every Saturday afternoon at 5 PM Eastern time. Folks, give it up for Mr. Angel Mendez. Greetings to my beloved listeners and ever so faithful viewers. This is once again, your friend Angel here. Ready to sit down and talk about the unpleasant and ever funny things that are happening in the world of the online today. I hope that you enjoy listening to our show as much as we enjoy making it for you. Appreciate it there, Angel. Thanks for joining us. And of course, let's not forget uh, the man who started it all, the head of the Ravens flock, the executive producer and uh, content manager of our channel, the host of our flagship show, the Ravens flock, live every Saturday uh, Saturday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time and Wrestle Rewind live every Thursday night at uh, at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Give it up for Mr. Jose Casabona! Thank you very much for that introduction, Juan. I appreciate it. Happy to be here with everybody uh, and uh, with everybody tuning in right now. And of course, I'm happy to be here with the rest of our gang. Very much appreciated. You guys see, like, I'm swapping the lens out right now. And that's why I switched the camera off for just a second uh, so I can get this fixed. It was going to bug me all night long if I didn't do this. There, much better. Shebus. Oh, do us a favor, Jose. Go ahead and uh, uh, take care of the usual. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. Audience. I got this. I got this. Thank so, you. folks, much like all our other shows on this channel, we are simulcasting on YouTube and Kick. Hit the subscribe or the follow button on the bottom right corner of your screen. Click the bell icon to enable all the notifications. Leave your questions and comments below. We'll answer as many as we can. And if you wish to go above and beyond to support the Ravens flock, then you can become an inner flocker. For $4.99 a month, you'll have access to all the perks that comes with our membership. Juan, tell them. Well, for all the inner flockers we've got in our chat, and I know we have plenty, go ahead and show off those lovely membership badges and custom emojis, letting everyone know that you're here to rescue the Ravens flock from the clutches of late stage capitalism and become full-time streamers, full-time YouTubers. This is a, uh, this is what we actually want to do for a living over here at the Ravens flock. Uh, unfortunately, we have uh, full-time jobs that uh, we have to uh, split our time with, and uh, let's not and let's not lie, it's always better to work for yourself than to have to work for demand. 
all right? Bam. We want to be our own dumb man. I want us to complain to us. And then when we complain to us, we'll have to say, well, then you, we're going to have to fill out an official complaint with HR. But HR isn't open on Saturdays, so we have to wait until Mondays. But then again, we don't even uh, uh, go to the office on Mondays, so we have to get the, uh, the, for, uh, the, the complaint form emailed to us. But they forgot our emails, and now we're uh, uh, having to wait a whole nother week before we can complain to AR, uh, the HR. But the problem is HR says, well, doesn't want to come in on Saturdays, even though that's primarily what we meet up, and that is why we want to work for ourselves, to give ourselves that headache, not to have to deal with it from some other a-hole who won't understand us. Well, see, that's the problem, Juan. You talk to HR. HR is not there to help you. It's never there to help you. I said that, and I know, and I get what you mean, but also no. You also get access to members, first and members only content, a special discount to our merch store, link in the description below, and you also get access to us, the Ravens Flock, your favorite Motley Crue nerds, here to make your voice our mission, by providing us your thoughts, your input, your feedback, your ideas, and how to better shape the future of this channel to suit your tastes and needs. Hey, up here in the chat, I see Mr. Geek Me Up, Ms. Kim, Carrie C, Matthew Coburn, Cody C. Randosama, Lisa Boo, Aaron Cooper, Tiffany Washington, haven't seen you in a hot a minute, welcome to the show, Tiffany, uh, let's see, and Carrie C. went ahead and gifted a... Uh, a, a, a of uh, uh, membership to inner to, uh, for an thank inner you flunker. and uh, thank you so you're gonna, much you're, you're gonna laugh the, like so you guys know we have no control over who the gifted memberships go to as long as there is someone who subscribes to the raven's flock and is not currently a member the system on youtube automatically sent it to my personal profile so the Juancho was gifted a membership by carrie c i wish i was lying i wish i was making that up <laughs> i have hired myself <laughs> thank That's you hilarious. carrie c for the membership <laughs> Yeah, how is that even possible? You're an like admin. Goodies. Doesn't that mean that you, by default, have those privileges? How, do, how does yeah. that work? No, Damn, Juancho, no. trying to pa uh, trying uh, trying uh, trying uh, trying to give yourself privileges and shit. No, I wasn't <laughs> trying to give it to myself. I literally just said, "I we have no control over that." The system. Look at this guy manipulating the algorithm. I'm literally gaslighting his anything. own channel. It's not even Saturday. I can't game for anything at all. Starscream. <laughs> Once again, you <laughs> got slighted me, Starscream. Thank you all the same. Thank you. To Kurisi Randosama, who's celebrating having been an inner flocker for 19 months. Wow. <laughs> Hello from Alabama and seeing some houses for sale trying to move away from La Florida. Dear Lord, get away from this place. It is insane over here. We have stupid people in charge. Run away. Wait a minute. You're running away to Alabama. Is that yeah. Better? Not exactly your first choice that I would run to. Well, at least you're getting away from Florida. So that's a, a plus, I suppose. I guess. <laughs> and as you can tell, we're, we keep ourselves. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, you're able to give out memberships now. The Ravens flock Kim saw in her life. Oh, really? What, like, so it turns out that Alabama has an extremely low cost of living. The homes are really? very what affordable there. Huh. Huh. That being said, I hope you like your, your summers hot and humid, because that shit's going to be sticky. Fair warning. Well, one thing that I do know is that with that humidity, uh, whether it's in Florida or in Alabama, you're going to want to keep your energy up. You're going to want to keep yourself going, especially if you're going to be moving from one state to another. And what better way to shamelessly plug ourselves and to help motivate you than to yeah. remind folks that we are proudly partnered with Glitch Energy. If you uh, if you go to our uh, to glitchenergy.com and use our promo code Flock Fuel, you get twenty percent off of uh, your order over there. And we've said this before; we'll say it again. Uh, at Glitch Energy, these guys uh, focus on being able to provide the right energy blends for the gamer in all of you. Whether it's actually f if you're, if you want. To go gaming or if you're it's working out or if you just need to be able to run through the day of your usual nine to five job we all need that little bit of a pick-me-up and uh glitch energy uh gives that to you with zero sugar zero carbs zero calories and zero crash but more importantly this stuff tastes so good i'm over here i'm loaded with berry plume over here is it even available anymore is berry plume gone berry plume is gone holy shit it's gone Gone diddly on. Oh, well, that just shows how uh, that just shows how much people really love the glitch energy product, man. 
damn right. And uh, more, uh, what's uh, 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 what's more, uh, these guys don't just stop at uh, uh, energizing you. They also have a, uh, w- a wide range of flavors in their uh, Glitch Revive Hydration formula. You get to load up with all the delicious, nutritious electrolytes that you need, especially if it's for a post-workout or if you sweat like a stunt pig uh, that's a demonic hellion on a, in a church on Sunday. I don't know where I was going with that metaphor, but you get the point. And if oh, we get the point, folks. And if you guys go to GlitchEnergy.com and use our promo code FLOCKFUEL, you'll receive a 20% discount on all of your online purchases. That's right. And of course... Uh, so you- I suggest that they buy nerdies because it's all the best nerdies. flavor. You all do. the nerdies. Well, the nerdies is very tasty. I'll, I will not deny that. And of course, let's not forget uh, Glitch Energy's uh, line of additional supplements that you can get set up with. Uh, for instance, there's uh, the Glitch Shield, which is immune boost, uh, immu- immune system booster. Uh, Blue Scope, which helps the uh, uh, helps in the nutrition of your eyes, especially in order to fight the blue light. The harm that you get from all these screens, the AI Ugh. supplement, which is loaded with nootropics, give you that brain juice and God mode, which is apparently the source of Roman Reigns' power. I'm kidding; it's a natural testosterone booster, which is excellent for pre-workouts. So go ahead, uh, check out GlitchEnergy.com and use our promo code FlockFuel to get 20% off your purchase. And once again, we want to thank uh, uh, Glitch Energy for partnering with the Ravens Flock, Jose. Have we gotten any of any more uh, fiery uh, complaint letters from their office yet, or have those stopped? Let's not push our luck, Quancho. The last thing we want is that we want some uh, squad of commandos busting down our door and detaining us. The thing is, they know where we live. They send us all those free samples whenever uh, we uh, whenever we try for it. So they know where we live. I, they exactly. Do you want Do you want to push our luck and get our house raided? I mean, just ask Diddy. No. I will not ask Diddy. As a matter of fact, I will never ask Diddy for anything. Ever. (laughs) All right? And as a matter of fact, that freaking joke that you put up. Hold on. What was this? Jesus, Christy. What the hell? Oh, my God. Christy Randosama went ahead and gifted five memberships for folks to be inner flockers. Holy shit, woman. All right. Awesome. So congratulations to VJK, Dusty Lane, Dini Santi, Rise of the X-Men, and Panda Bear for becoming inner flockers, courtesy of Kurisi Randosama. Holy shit, Starscream. Thank you Yay! so much. Is that where is that where you will settle or looking somewhere else? Okay, I guess uh because Kurisi's up in uh, Grant, Alabama at the moment. Uh the sucky part is about the uh five two is that it's in an easily flooded area. Yeesh! Oh, oh, the, oh, the, uh, the, the place where you're going to, the house or whatever that you're moving to. Okay, I saw two one for hundred k. I also saw five two for ninety k. Fuck that! Give me that house. I'll fucking build a moat. I'll fu- fucking build a, 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 I'll, I'll put, I'll build levees and moats around that home, and I will move there. I don't give a damn. Shit, nine thousand dollars for a five bedroom place. Holy cow! How dare you? <laughs> Think on what you've done. Just like Diddy ought to be thinking. Holy shit. Now you know. So All right. Yeah, I, I think it's directed. I think we should get into it, Juan. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to get directed into the story. Uh, Hang on a minute. Angel, are you there, man? Angel is there. But- uh oh, I think AI Angel took over. No. Oh, Ooh, no. It's taken over. Oh, no. How about now? Now we hear you. Oh, now yeah, we can oh, hear yes, you. Everything good, man? AI yeah, for some reason it just kind of muted itself. I'm, I'm not sure what happened, but I'm that here. I'm AI here, and I heard result. everything. Don't worry. No, uh, you see, the, the 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 issue is that we started talking about Bad Boy Entertainment uh, founder, uh, music mogul, and fashion mogul, and uh, entertainment mega guy, and dude who who is Bad Boy for life, Sean John Combs. Formerly known as Puff Daddy, presently known as P Diddy, or just Diddy, um, we're just—I'm just gonna fucking call him Puffy, cause fuck you. Um, and uh, I gotta be honest, of all the celebrities to get into horrible trouble with the law, this was not the one I was expecting. I thought he just kind of did his thing, made his money, and retired to his massive mansion to continue doing his thing. Uh, nope. Apparently, there's shit going on. 
uh, enough shit where there's uh, not just uh, not just involvement from law enforcement, but from the Department of Homeland Security. Holy Those are the shit. motherfuckers that send Jack Bauer on your ass. Those are, that's what that, that's what Homeland Security does. They bring out CTU against you, at you, Jesus to Christ. you, and they'll send you the bill too. But uh, uh, putting it simply, before we go further, I believe I am going to have to give out once again an obligatory disclaimer. Jose, would you agree, considering the circumstance here? Go for it. All right. We here at the Raven's Flock do not condone breaking the law. Breaking the law is a bad thing. Do not do bad things. We are expressing our, uh, we are we are conveying news about what uh, Sean Combs has been accused of allegedly being involved in. And we are not in any way, shape, or form trying to glorify that in any way, shape, or uh, method whatsoever. Anyone who's trying to say that we are is a dirty, filthy butt liar and YouTube human reviewer. Hi there. Hello. We're talking about the news. We're talking about a story that is developing as we speak. It is an ongoing investigation and we're going with the information that is publicly available. We're not trying to dox anyone. We're not trying to break any laws. We're telling folks about something that's going on. Don't fuck with us. Yes, no, okay, thank you, bye-bye. Crime, was- bad, law, good, please don't crime or law do bad to you. Hey, there. Juan. What's up? Did you just say don't lock with us? And said don't fuck with us? No, I said don't fuck with us. I legit said don't fuck with us. Uh, you should say don't lock with us. <laughs> yeah. Or flock off. But, um, uh, but we get it, Wancho. <laughs> thank you for that. I think we've covered our butts enough, Wancho. Okay. So, yeah, um, this is insane, and we really don't know a lot of the particulars as to what led to this in- this dramatic raid that happened on two of P. Diddy's fucking, on Puffy's homes, his L.A. home and his home in Miami, Florida. Yeah, and they happened simultaneously, which... If anyone who knows this kind of shit knows if any federal agency is doing that kind of coordination on the opposite sides of the landmass of the fucking continent, and they're saying, okay. And it has to be something big. Yeah. They found some shit. This is not an allegation. This is, if you're sending that many people with that many guns in there, that is a confirmation. Yeah. Yep. Now, here is what we're going to do. First, I'm going to start everybody off with something light and simple. Basically, we're going to, I'm going to uh, get everyone uh, on the same page here, uh, courtesy of this handy dandy article that was published right as uh, right as I was getting off of my straight job um, over here. Uh, so it was published earlier tonight, so uh, three hours ago, uh, courtesy of Slate. And Mr. Geek Me Out is over here saying, like, the Ravis flock will be canceled after this one. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, I'd like to see Diddy try. Mm-hmm. I'll know it's him. Isn't that right, Jose? Like, Juan, please don't tempt fate. That's my job. Yeah. Hello. I can Honcho, already hear please. the cop I'm literally just... looking out my window. Can you see the blue and red lights, Joe? Not yet, although I hear helicopter uh, blades in the distance. I always knew it was going to end like this. Well, I'll see you all in Albuquerque. I'm out. There's no, there's no, <laughs> no Angel, Albuquerque. you're going down the sinking ship with us. Hell no, and yes, one. the point is that there is nobody in Albuquerque. Nobody but me. God dang it, man. All right, let's start with this article over here, courtesy of Slate. Uh, headline reads, what is going on with Diddy? Where is he? Why were his homes raided by Homeland Security? Here's what we know. This is brought to us by uh, Nadira uh, Goff over here. And like I said, March 27th, today, 7.26 p.m. That's three hours ago, almost to the minute. So, Jesus jumped up Christ. All right, on Monday, headlines blared with the news that two homes belonging to hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs were being raided by law enforcement. Uh, let's see here. This news came a few months after a bombshell lawsuit accusing Combs of sexual assault. S.A. was filed by his former girlfriend and a seemingly dam-breaking uh, uh, moment that led to a number of other women and a man Combs recently worked with filing similar suits of their own. 
Jesus. Combs has denied all wrongdoing. Because of course he will. Since Monday, various incongruous reports surrounding the reasons for the raids, Combs' whereabouts, and information on other involved players were released, making it hard to parse what we actually know. Below, a recap of what is going on with the creator of Bad Boy Entertainment and a breakdown of everything that has happened since Monday. So, starting off, first, screw this ad that popped up over here. Let's see, what exactly are the allegations against City? It seems like they've kept piling up. While the full and lengthy story of the numerous allegations against Diddy is still unfolding, it's worth noting that the majority of the suits against Diddy were launched last year after his former girlfriend, the singer K uh, Cassie, or Casey, uh, sued Combs in federal court on November 16th on various claims of sexual assault and intimidation. Though that suit was settled out of court the following day, yes, you read that correctly, the following fucking day, so November 17th, he basically paid, okay, this is how much this is how much money you're gonna take to so you can shut up. So even though that happened, three more suits were subsequently filed by women who similarly accused Combs of various sex crimes, including R and trafficking. Uh, Jesus Christ. Yep. The first three suits, including Cassie's, were filed on uh, in rapid succession due to the impending November 24 deadline for uh, New York's Adult Survivors Act, which for one year extended the statute of limitations for adults to pursue legal action against their alleged abusers to 20 years. On December 6th, the fourth lawsuit from a Jane Doe was filed under a similar yet different New York City piece of legislation called the Victims of Gender Motivated Violence Act. All right, so following the fourth co uh, filing, Combs released a statement via his Instagram denouncing all the claims, saying, For the last couple weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, and let my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. However, this was not the end of the hip-hop artist's mounting legal troubles. A month ago, on February 26th, the producer Rodney Jones Jr., a.k.a. Lil Rod, alleged in a 73-page legal filing with photographs and graphic details that, amongst other non-sexual offenses, Combs drugged, threatened, and sexually harassed him while they were working on Combs' 2023 album, The a Love Album, Off the Grid. In a statement made to the Times, Combs' lawyer, Sean Hawley, stated that, quote, Little Rod is nothing more than a liar, calling the producer's allegations pure fiction and claiming that they have been they have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his assertions are fabricated. However, this did not stop Jones Jr., who amended his federal complaint on Monday, to accuse actor Cuba Gooding Jr. of sexual assault and harassment while on Combs' yacht. So, uh, and apparently, fucking allegedly, according to the lawsuit, Cuba Gooding Jr. is involved. Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Holy yeah. shit, that, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Long ass time. This was Seriously. not a name I was hoping to hear in this context to begin with. Right. How disappointing. See, uh, Gooding Jr. has been also been embroiled in legal action for allegedly, for alleged sexual misconduct for the past couple years, including a settlement in June of, on an R allegation involving a 2013 incident, as well as a current lawsuit filed by two women. Gooding Jr. previously pleaded guilty to some of the allegations of these two women, but did no jail time. Okay, so first off, what? Um, what? That's a whole lot of shit to be laying out on 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 our laps in a single second. Jeez. This was an avalanche of shit. Somebody opened the floodgates, but the wall cracked, and there was just a dam of poop in the background. Yeah. And now the town is flooded, and hundreds of innocent people have died. Holy shit, dude! Right? It's insane. Yeah. And I can't. Uh, fucking begin to imagine this shit. Why it's uh, uh, like how all of this just snowballed in such a quick amount of time. I'm legitimately flabbergasted by this. And uh, yeah, uh, yes, could he see I shaved? For the record, I didn't mean to shave this far down. It was an accident. Um, let's see. It looks weird. Not that smooth. Weird. Now that one I slides it, onto the scene. No, not that smooth not anymore. <laughs> I've got stubble here, so the goatee's coming back. So hot. I know. Me. The baby face is gone. 
I'm not. Uh, I'm not really a baby face to begin with. I'm more of a tweener than you. Uh, but anyways, right. um, but oh, no. but but regard but regardless, getting back to the article, like obviously this is not the very first time that Mr. Combs has been uh, tied up in controversy. No, it really is not. Uh, but I'm seeing here a uh, question from the chat. Aaron Cooper's asking, uh, and he acted like this with whatever percent of pe the people who came into his sphere of influence for how many years? I see more victims standing up soon. And um, she's asking uh, if they checked his rental property. That hasn't been named. That hasn't been uh, 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 stated over here. And Tiffany Washington says that, uh, um, that, yeah, in New York City and Chicago, I think. <laughs> Jesus, if that's if that's legit, then I am gonna lose my mind. And she's asking where Jay Z is. Jay Z, uh, thankfully, he's got nothing to do with uh, uh, with Diddy, so far as I know. Uh, and the last thing I know is like, okay, Jay Z, he retired from rap altogether, and he's basically he's doing what Angel thought that Diddy was doing. It's like he's living in his yeah. retirement, uh, like living his best life, married to Beyonce. And just like if she wants to keep singing and performing, she can. And he's being the uh, the good and faithful, well, faithful as a guy who's cheated on her before can be husband. Um, <laughs> well, he hasn't cheated again, so maybe she was right on taking him back. But man, it's like the mastermind song by Nas says: "This king of New York shit only lasts fifty minutes." Sometimes you gotta know when to call it, pack up your money, and leave. You know. Seriously, like call it a career, but apparently that's not enough for this guy. Um, if like if, if you can't have it your way, then what the hell? I'm I know this ain't Burger King though. Uh, let me see. There is an island, says Tiffany Washington. Oh shit, you're right. There is an island, but uh, we can't even get into that at the moment over here, can we? Um, no, K Storm. That's for the. That's for our flockers. Passing that being out. said, I have a question, have though. Since I haven't kept up with this event, have the authorities that basically invaded the fortress of solitude in there, have they found anything? Uh, apparently they have, but uh, we're going to actually get to that in a second over here. Uh, let's see here. I'm actually <laughs> continuing with this one article because it's such an omnibus over here. It's very handy. Uh, that was a lot. Now that I know the overview of the allegations, can you please explain to me what the hell is currently going on on Monday Federal agents from Homeland Security alongside local law enforcement conducted a raid of Combs Miami and L.A. homes as part of a sex trafficking investigation. Wait, Homeland Security? I thought that the department mostly handled terrorism. The Department of Homeland Security, which does, with varying degrees of controversiality, mainly concerned itself with issues of te as terrorism, immigration and disaster prevention, and cybersecurity, are also responsible for combating human trafficking, with the Center for Countering uh, Human Trafficking falling under DHS purview. This isn't too surprising, considering many human trafficking cases involve plenty of DHS interests, from border security to anti-terrorism. Similarly, Homeland Security was involved in the investigation against R&B singer R. Kelly that led to his 2022 conviction. News Nation is even reporting that the federal case against Combs is directly modeled after the R. Kelly case, though I have yet to see that corroborated in print. That makes sense. So what happened during these raids? There is video of the raids on both uh, Combs' L.A. and Miami homes, the former of which is registered to Bad Boy Films, as well as uh, one of Combs' daughters from countless outlets. Uh, meanwhile, TMZ purports to have internal photos showing the aftermath of the L.A. raid. In the footage of the L.A. raid, two of Combs' adult sons, King and Justin Combs, were shown being detained outside of the house. Though ABC News reports that this was standard procedure and those sons were released without charges. It is unclear whether or not his other children, some of whom are minors, were present or detained. Most notably, mm. one thing that cannot be seen in footage was Combs himself, as his whereabouts at the time were unknown. What do you mean his whereabouts were unknown? Because Combs wasn't present during the raids, and because he could not be located specifically, and because there were some seemingly conflicting reports uh, about where his private jet was and whether or not he was even on it, myriad versions of Where is Sean Diddy Combs headlines were splayed across the internet as the public, in a matter of hours, became obsessed with the rapper's whereabouts. Tabloids, which were tracking Combs' private jet, reported that the plane landed on the Caribbean island of Antigua, though it's un initially unclear whether Combs was on it or not. Because of this, the rumor mill began churning out the narrative in which Combs would have tried to escape to the island, which, by the way, fun fact, guys, the island of Antigua has no uh, extradition 
uh, has no extradition uh, allowed in the in in its territory at all. So if he was trying to run from the law, that would be a primo place to go, Boogie. So, yeah, that would have been fun. Uh, let me see here. Uh, bah, 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 but no less a source. Uh, okay. Wow, shit, really? Uh, let's see here. Because of this rumor, uh, 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 let's see. Uh, to escape the island, but no less a source than the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda nipped the rumor in the bud by telling Newsweek what the other reports also started to state. He was not on the jet. This narrative never entirely squared away any, in any way, uh, considering Antigua does have an extradition treaty with the U.S. Wait, seriously? They just said that they... Okay, I guess it does. Then what the fuck? Okay, then. Okay, I guess I'm wrong. See? Like, I was wrong. I made a mistake. I should have kept reading. That's easy. Motherfuckers, remember, it's not hard to admit when you're wrong. However, it didn't help the rumor mill that Combs' children were in one place, his private jet in another, and he was apparently in neither of those locations. As of right now, Combs' private jet is no longer available to track on the site Flight Aware, though it is not uncommon for celebrities to request the tracking info of their jets to be withheld from these pl public flight databases. Where Do we know where he is now? While news of the raids was releasing and the Antigua speculation was unfolding, Combs was spotted by TMZ milling around the Miami, Op uh, the Miami Opaloka uh, Executive Airport. The New York Post reported that Combs was allegedly about to board a different private jet from Miami. Remember, his usual all-black love air jet was on its way to Antigua. Per USA Today, a man called Brendan Paul, whom Jones uh, Jr. alleged uh, alleges to be Combs' Good, quote, drug mule, was arrested by law enforcement at Opaloka Executive Airport on felony charges for, quote, possession of suspected cocaine and possession of, uh, 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 of suspected marijuana candy. According to Jones Jr.'s lawsuit, the former Syracuse University basketball player, player quote, procured, transported, and distributed ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, mush mushrooms, and Tusi. Paul has been uh, since re released on a $2,500 bond. TMZ has footage of Co uh, Combs walking around the airport and speaking to law enforcement, but the timeline is murky. Some of the tabloids reports claim that Combs was with his family when he was approached by Homeland Security and questioned. Some of the tabloids reports allege that the photographed exchange with law enforcement occurred, quote, moments before Paul was arrested. Page Six is reporting that Combs was planning on traveling with his twin daughters to the Bahamas on the day of the raids. Neither Combs' intentions for being at the airport, the timeline of Paul's arrest, whether Paul's arrest are, is, even has anything to do with the raids, nor who exactly was with Combs when he was stopped at the airport has been verified. However, reports subsequently supported by an official statement from Combs' attorney state that the mogul was not arrested or charged when stopped by law enforcement, nor was his travel restricted. All this took place on a Monday? Goodness, is there anything else I should know about the events of that day? Well, it isn't entirely related, uh, but I thought you should uh, like to know that famed director Ridley Scott, apparently Combs' neighbor, was caught by TMZ, uh, allegedly appearing, quote, seriously frustrated as the raid on the producer's L.A. home reportedly prevented the playwright director <laughs> oh from my accessing God. his own lodging. Jesus. So, seriously. Jesus Christ. Like, so not only the, like that was like just a fucking aside, and I remember that becoming a minor meme for five minutes on Monday and, and yesterday of uh, Ridley Scott standing very frustrated, grumpy, and in in, a, in front of a gated driveway and talking to a, a DHS uh, agent there, and just it, just you can just see him on the sidewalk, just like what the fuck, man. I, I, I just need to get... Uh, Imagine being Ridley Scott, opening the door to your fancy house and going, man, those bands are driving in a hurry. What the fuck is this? Is, is this John Wick? Is this neighborhood getting John Wicked? John, are you working? Is this, is, this, is this what happens? Shit. Yeah, so... John should not have been working. So, yeah, no, it's a <laughs> fucking nightmare. Uh, and, like, let's see here. This is what's, uh, and thankfully we're getting to what was actually taken from uh, Diddy's place. Uh, let's see here. If the events happened so long ago, what evidence could even still be present that would warrant a raid? Quote we uh, uh, on here. Uh, let's see. 
We don't know exactly what prompted the search, as though NBC News reports that multiple people have spoken to federal officials so far about, quote, allegations of sex trafficking, sexual assault, and the solicitation and distribution of illegal narcotics and firearms. However, it is important to note that we know the raids are related to a sex trafficking investigation. We do not know if Combs is a lead suspect in said investigation. Even still, I must remind you that though the majority of the high-profile allegations against Combs concern events that took place years ago, most of what Jones Jr. is uh, 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 alleged in his 73-page suit occurred as recently as 2023. After all this, did the federal agents find anything in Combs' homes? NBC News reports that some firearms were found during the searches, though it's unclear who owned them. Some electronic devices were also seized. We do not know if anything else had been found. D did he have anything to say about this whole ordeal? One of Combs' lawyers... Aaron Dyer released a statement seen by Fox News in which he described the raids as, quote, an gross overuse of military level force. He also corroborates the uh, reports that neither Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested, nor was their travel restricted, adding that, quote, there is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by the authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Dyer likens this unprecedented ambush to a Quote, witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. Finally, he asserts that Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Okay, uh, where, were there any other noteworthy reactions? Okay, I don't care about those reactions, everyone else saying. <laughs> okay, so first off, holy crap, that escalated really goddamn quickly. Yeah? Yeah! Like, yeah, I, Jesus! I, I, I agree with... Okay, so you said that he was not arrested at the time that they were raiding the house. The houses. He was not arrested. They found And he wasn't and, and he wasn't restricted in traveling. So yes. you think that if they were hoping to find him at those houses, that they would have restricted the traveling, right? Yeah, it feels a little bizarre going, we're gonna break it, into it, your it, house it, and look what you got in there, right. but we're not gonna we stop are, you from going anywhere. Yeah, we're missing a puzzle piece here. Yeah. Maybe we're missing a few of them. Because things are are just not adding up. The math something is feels sus. Yeah, yeah, and, and something the, sus. And the fact that there are so many different um, people who are saying, "Oh no, we saw them here. Oh no, we saw him with so and so here. No, nope, so and so is with so and so here." And it's just it's that's really confusing. Contradicting reports of locations. Yeah. Plus the fact that there is too many different people accusing him basically is bringing fuel to both sides because many of the people who are accusing him of those insidious criminal acts seem to have absolutely no connection with one another at all. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's seemingly random. Which is bizarre. Yeah, what is going on here? At the same time, it's very curious as to why in the mm -hmm. hell all this happened in in one go, in one shot, but mm -hmm. now that we're, now that we're uh, sufficiently removed from it time wise of uh, of uh, you know at least have it been 48 hours from the actual events now we can actually start seeing this with a little bit more of an objective uh perspective and like you said there's some stuff that isn't mathing they they grabbed electronic devices they noted and grabbed some firearms that uh were found in the homes although they don't know who those guns belong to um but that's it it's like it's so so far as we know, and like I said, this was updated, and this article only came out three hours ago. So I am very much uh, in the uh, the camp of it, the, if there was going to be more information, we would have seen uh, some more uh, some more stuff come out. Um, well, exactly. and the fact that they again coordinated it, they don't just coordinate this stuff for like small things. It's it, this is like there has to be big reasons. There, there's something big going on, and I guess More the reason why they're not go. saying anything is because it's, it's going to be, well, it's gonna be an active investigation, and we all know with active investigations, you're not supposed to spill details. Yeah, so the spill thing the that worries me is like sending that much of a force to a man's house means that at that point, either an emergency is going down, or you have found basically evidence that gives you plausible reason to break into somebody's home and start screaming FBI open up but at the yeah, same mm -hmm. time you're also not arresting him whatever he is and supposedly not they found him. nothing yeah. 
Yeah. Like that, that. Nothing. They've, ta- they've taken electronic devices, which we can only assume they're referring to, like, computers, hard drives. Yeah, recordings. Laptops. Yeah. 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 See, the part that gets Anything me, that he, could have incriminating evidence, on, supposedly incriminating, incriminating evidence on. Exactly. Here's the thing that gets me about said incriminating evidence. <laughs> the fact that he claims, based on his own defense, that this was done by people who are basically trying to make a quick buck of him. Admittedly, this is not without precedent. People trying to take advantage mm-hmm. of uh, celebrities to get their money and screw them over legally has happened before. Yes, it has. But why now? And why so many people from so many different places? More important, Somebody gave me a calculator because something here just ain't adding up. More yeah, yeah. Like why? Like like a lot of the stuff is coming in very much in unison. It's all happening at the same time, and it's a snowball effect that's got people freaking out and wondering what the hell is going on. Um, now apparently now there's been uh like. Over the years, there's been rumor and speculation, rumor and innuendo of stuff that uh, P. Diddy had been involved in, that Puffy was involved in, um, very famously. And I showed it to uh, K. Storm and Jose yesterday. <clears throat> Hold on. There. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna. Sh- I'm just gonna freaking uh, pull up the. Uh, the lyrics and pull up this uh, uh, the uh, the the words uh, uh, for himself over here uh, from a fine upstanding gentleman by the name of Sir Marshall Mathers, which was released uh, six years ago. A song called "Kill Shot." If uh, if you guys uh, know what I'm talking about Eminem, uh, and this was the diss song that he wrote. Uh, against Machine Gun Kelly, who the, uh, that this song was the the song of legend. It was such a legendary burn that Machine Gun Kelly MGK basically left rap completely and decided to go to pop. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Yeah, that's this. Wow. Song. And if it, 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 and if you uh, may or may not know, if I remember correctly, Machine Gun Kelly is uh, was signed under uh, Bad Boy Entertainment which is P. Diddy's record label. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll just show you guys the, 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 the lyrics yourself over here. And yes, okay. I am a fan of E. Minem. I shall respect Sir Marshall of Mathers. He, like, we've, we've made the joke before in the past, Eminem is the only guy on planet Earth, the only white guy, to have been unanimously granted a lifetime N-word pass by the uh, by the black community, and he's still so badass that he refuses to use it, because that's how much of a badass he is. He doesn't need to use it. I know, it's a weird thing to be uh, to, for us to g- joke about, but it's... but let's, let's Who said anything about it. jokes, Mr. Arouse? Yeah, no, seriously. Uh, exactly, no, that's no fucking joke. Eminem's the man. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, let's see. Who else? Want it? Kells. Attempt fails. Button L's. Fucking nails in these coffins. Uh, soft as cotton nail. Kill shot. I will not fail. I'm with the doc still. But this idiot boss pop pills and tells him he's got skills. But Kells, the day you put out the uh, hits, the day the Diddy admits that you put the hit out that got pot killed. Damn. Yeah, that last part. But Kells, as in, so uh, Machine Gun Kelly, the day you put out a hit song is the day that <laughs> P. Diddy admits that he put the hit out that got Tupac killed, as in the infamous... That is a hell of an accusation. It's a rumor and innuendo. It's very, like, mm. much know. Like, we all know, Sauce. but we don't know. As Okay, for those of you who weren't alive in 1996-7 and didn't know the beef and the drama and the madness and the uh, terror that happened, uh, Notorious B.I.G. and Tupac Shakur, okay? Uh, Biggie Smalls, Tupac, two of the biggest rappers of the era. They were, they were era defining rappers and both of them, it was literally East coast rappers and West coast rappers. And it got to, uh, rivalries primarily with their crews and primarily with the, the guys around them. Some of whom may have allegedly also been a part of, uh, criminal gangster activity. We don't know. Um, 
Notorious B.I.G. was shot and murdered, and so was Tupac. And the story goes that it was rival uh, members of each other's crew who made it happen, and that uh, apparently the rumor that's being implied in the lyrics there is that uh since which by the way back when sean combs went by puff daddy him and tupac were peas in a pod they were together they were bffs forever right Hmm. so naturally the 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 gist of it goes that after biggie was shot and died and how tupac just died a few weeks later and was shot and killed that the idea is oh that maybe puffy he put out the hit to uh get tupac and heroed but mm, mm, we don't know. It's like I said, rumor and innuendo, speculation. It's a sweet rap. It's a crazy, like wild ride over here uh, of a lyric. And Marshall even covers his ass. And I'm just playing Diddy. You know I love you. <laughs> right. You know how they say that rappers tend to like confess to their own crimes when they rap. I think Eminem took the extra mile and started to confessing to other people's crimes. As well he should. He decided, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm a snitch. <laughs> but is it really snitching if everyone in like the hip-hop and rap community, especially who came up during that time, if they knew, knew the truth, truth, whatever, you know what I mean? Everybody knows, but nobody wants to say it. It's like an open secret, but it's not quite open because the moment you start to open the secrets, everything starts to smell of gunpowder and cordite, and nobody wants to stay in the room when that happens. I I mean, let's be honest. The life of the average New York rapper is inflicted and filled to the brim with violence and fraught with difficulty. Hell, 99% of rap albums are about, yo, dog, this shit is fucking hard on the streets. We gotta get out of the streets. I've been on the streets. The streets were fucking brutal. Shit, look at 50 Cent. He made his entire career when somebody shot him in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. That man is like a living episode of the Boondocks. Yeah, no, what's his face? Uh, Like, uh, uh, what's his face? Kanye, he even uh, got in a fucking car accident and his whole jaw was fucking, had to be surgically reconstructed. He had to have his mouth wired shut. And he never got over that shit. Well. So the, the treasure to becoming a good rapper is give yourself a debilitating injury that changes the way you speak for the rest of your life. So you can rap three times as faster. It's like a Super Saiyan, but like black. Yeah. Yeah, that tracks. Let's see. Damn. What did Biggie do? Let's see. Uh, two days after Tupac's death. Uh, okay. 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 My mistake. It's the other way around. Biggie died after uh, 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 t- uh, Tupac. Um, shoot. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Jeez, what a mess. Yeah. You see what I mean? Like, uh, I'm over here, uh, uh, trying to get, like, so that makes it almost worse. Uh, and, and if I'm going down this rabbit hole, uh, you can tell that this shit gets bigger and wilder and crazier as we go along. Like, and I'm just going by what I was, uh, uh, uh what I was bringing up and you guys can, uh, get, if, get me in tinfoil hat mode but this is coming from the source which is uh the single largest um uh, uh magazine and uh news source from the world of hip-hop r&b and and african-american performers and entertainment and this article is actually from january 16th you're gonna fucking love this and i was just i just typed this in and i just fucking this is one of the first things that popped up and i apologize if this is a bit of a uh uh, detour. We'll get back to the rest of the actual stuff happening with what happened on Monday over here. The From the source, the headline reads, Explosive audio submitted as evidence alleges Diddy's involvement in Tupac Shakur's murder. Jesus Christ. I was just kidding! What? I thought Eminem was just kidding! It was, it was never... It was never a joke, my man. Nah, brah. Oh. Eminem was spitting the truth. It was always going to be like this because the streets are cruel and merciless. Wait, wait, wait a goddamn second. What if that is the reason why there was an actual raid in his house and they essentially used all these accusations as a pretext to jump in there? I wouldn't be surprised, but to be perfectly honest, uh, if that was the case, one would expect that, uh, like like I said, this came up on, uh, this article came up on uh, January 16th. And let me take a look over here. When was this submitted? Blah, 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 blah. 
I'm trying to find. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay. Yeah, and apparently this uh the 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 sound uh file that they're talking about was had took place in 2008. So like let, let, let me oh. just, I'll just read this to you so you guys can see what I mean. Uh, blah, blah, blah. uh explosive audio recordings have been submitted to court as evidence in the murder case of iconic rapper Tupac Shakur implicating hip hop mogul P Diddy in the assassination. The audio features Dwayne Keith D Davis, a West Coast gangster and a suspect in Tupac's murder, boasting about Diddy allegedly orchestrating the hit on the rap legend. According to reports by The Sun, the chilling 2-hour and 25-minute secret police interview took place in 2008 with LAPD, where Keith D claimed that Diddy offered him a million dollars for Tupac's assassination. The audio recording, now a key piece of evidence in the murder trial, has surfaced as Las Vegas prosecutors make their case against Keith D. In the disturbing tape Keith, 60, uh, Keith D, 60 years old, can be heard laughing and joking with police about Diddy's alleged involvement in Tupac's killing in September 1996 in Las Vegas. The gangster claims that, without firm evidence, he oversaw the fatal shooting at the request of Diddy during the mid-90s. Okay. Jesus Christ. First off, why would you say that to the police? Don't you understand the part of anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law? Already, Do you think the law's he's... playing with you? He's already in jail. He's the uh, Keith D. Uh, Keith D. Apparently, he was already talking with police because he was already in jail during all like uh, in two thousand eight. So it didn't matter to him. So he's like, "Fuck it, why not?" Let's see here. Why would you make it worse for yourself? It's fucking. Do you, you think they can listen? Just because you're in jail doesn't mean you're safe. They're always listening. They will just put you in super jail now. Uh, probably. Keith alleges that Diddy wanted to eliminate the competition, specifically targeting rival record label boss Suge Knight and Tupac amidst the East Coast-West Coast rap wars. The former Compton Crip insists that the million-dollar reward was proposed by Diddy, who, had cons who has consistently denied any involvement in Tupac's sh shooting. Prosecutors submitted the audio file to highlight Keith D's confessions about being a key figure in the murder. However, it is crucial to note that many sections of the tape contain unsubstantiated allegations against Diddy. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the 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 link for you guys to read uh, this article on your own time. I'm literally just showing y'all this because while I was actually pulling this up, because I was literally just like, okay, there's no fucking way. Uh, that, that was actually a thing. Like, well, there's a thing, but like, the fact that it this is motherfucker- dating. Yeah, no, no, we know what you meant, Juan. Fesses <laughs> up to it and just blabs about it? Uh, like, it was, yeah, Tiffany was uh, over, uh, Tiffany Washington in the chat. Uh, yeah, two of the greatest, rest in peace, begin Tupac. The both of them are, are in whatever, uh, paradisical afterlife that they must, that they must be in and, and have no beef with each other, just looking down- Upon all of us, and they're just collectively the two of them. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys doing? What are can you, you imagine? Do, you can, idiots! Can you imagine Notorious <laughs> Big just looking at what's happening, going, "Really, motherfucker, just fist up to it for real? Bullshit!" Like bullshit. And secondly, what the fuck, guys? Yeah, he got credit. And Uncle Rukus is right next to him going, I told you you couldn't trust them ningas. Oh, Jesus, I dude. told you it was what a bad the idea. Is from the boondocks? Oh, Why wouldn't God. you listen to me? Big, I always respected you because despite you being a black man, you are as big as the biggest white man. Jesus, dude. Funny you mentioned that, Angel, <laughs> because I was watching the boondocks a couple nights ago. <laughs> Bro, I love the boondocks. The boondocks is so good. Uh, Unfortunately, what is not good is that it's already 11 p.m., and due to real-life concerns, I must step out already. So I would like to say my brief piece before I go, if that's okay with you. Uh, by all means, there's still plenty more information that I got to dig through with uh, some of the articles I've got. Uh, and I also want to show folks a, a bit of the footage that we found uh, from the actual raid. Can I show folks that footage? Is that okay, Jose? Um, yeah, just show, yeah, just yeah, show a couple of seconds. It's of public it. information. It's not copyright infringement. Right? Fair exactly. enough. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, um, I'll just go ahead and I'll uh, you know, and I I think I ought to just go ahead and share this with you guys too. Might as well. There's no harm, and besides, I want you guys to be able to uh, uh, to uh, share in this moment with me. Here it is. Okay, let me know when you guys are able to see. Hold on, loading, and there we go. Have fun. There it is. Okay. Here we go, folks. 
<laughs> All right, allow me to throw in my two cents okay. before I uh, exit wow. the city. Wow, really, folks, that isn't real. That no, that is exactly what happened. You are showing actual <laughs> police evidence, Juan. You're going to jail. Obviously, oh, that is real footage. It's just the movie. Uh, Go ahead, Angel. Speak your voice. But they can't do this. So, <laughs> considering the amount of people that got involved yeah. into this particular debacle, it strikes me to think that ultimately there is not enough evidence to put him away for those accusations of the sexual abuse yet. But I believe that they may have used this accusation as an example to basically at get him for something else. This is what it feels like to me. They are trying to get him for something else and they use this opportunity to screw it. You know how they got Al Capone because he was because they couldn't nail him on all his crimes they and they got his ass on tax evasion? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel I feel like it is like this. They're like this man committed X crime, but we cannot nail him for X crime. Oh shit! Somebody just accused him of Y crime. Sounds like an excellent opportunity to invade his house to find opportunity of X, Y, and C crimes. So Everybody writing get the his computer. Of these accusations. Yep. Get the hard drive, get the computer, and steal the lunch from his fridge too. Fuck him. Well, unless he's keeping a thumb drive with uh, blackmail photos and videos in his uh, in his turkey club sandwich, I doubt that they'll get much anything other than uh, giving him the middle finger. Bro, you don't know what celebrities do with their food. I seen some weird documentaries. I don't know Remember that thing they did with ACDC and the M and M's and the Skittles? They knew. They no, knew some weird shit was going down. Angel, that's Nicolas Cage, and that's M and M's. And he and uh and yellow uh like lemon drop flavored jelly beans, which he no 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 martini glasses. Okay, no no, I'm talking about the actual band ACDC to make sure that the guys who were like g helping them in the game were following the contract. They were requested specific and very strange variations of candies, and if they didn't give it to them exactly the way they wanted to, they are like, "You're fucking with me." Read the contract again. Oh my god! So I would not be surprised if P of DDs. Put some weird shit in that tuna sandwich. I'm just saying. Well, there's. Well, we're gonna go ahead and continue on with the show over here, Angel. Can we expect? What can we expect from you uh, this Saturday on Los Amigos Play? Thank you for taking the time to join me today, my for allowing me to join you today, my friends. And you can expect me on Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Los Amigos Play, another wonderful episode of Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes Hideo Kojima Connecting World Stranding. HD Remix Edition, where Mr. Juan Arauz will take the microphone and the main controller and endure the trials of Shadow Moses Island, because we are almost about to finish the game and we're about to take home the battle to our brother, so we can prove once and for all who has the pure recessive genes. Well, he's well. Liquid has the recessive genes. That's why he's pissy, and we have the dominant genes. And apparently, well, of course he has recessive genes. He's British. Ah, uh, Britishness has nothing to do with that. That's where he was. Born. Yes, there's a difference. It is in the inherent inferiority of the Britons is the reason we threw away all their shit ass tea over the harbor all those years ago. We didn't get that. I, know. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> we do. <laughs> oh, are we really going to throw in the Boston Tea Party? Apparently no, so. fuck Boston. <laughs> well, true, fuck Boston, but that's a whole different story. All right, Angel, you go the fuck anyway. To sleep. It's been good, everybody. Sorry I couldn't stay so long for this one, but I'll do it for the next one. It's been good. It's been great. It's been wonderful. You all take good care and get some damn sleep. Sleep is for the week, but you get some sleep. All right, you, what I'll sleep? See you. All right, I'll see you, you know, that thing when, when you shut down. That thing your dog does. Say hi to Shiva for me. I know she misses me. Uh, uh, okay, well, say hi. See, she's currently being a brat, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's been good. It's been great. It's been awesome. Let all right, have a good one. Later, Thanks, whatever. See you Saturday, buddy. All right, so that was Angel, and yeah, we're trying to have we're trying to have just a little bit of levity here. I apologize, for, uh, folks. Because this is such a weird subject. That's why. And it's so pervasive. It's like fucking. It feels almost too unreal. 
because of the extent of everything, uh, when you couple that shit with everything else that uh, that Puffy had been uh, alleged to be involved in, like putting hits on, out on people, fucking mistreating people, and being fucking whacked out of his gourd, there's a whole nother bunch of crazy shit involved in there. Um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, our friend It's Kim, uh, she was mentioning how uh, Aubrey O'Day from the from the uh, band Danity Kane, how she had some allegations against Diddy as well. But that's like a whole nother can of worms that I don't think we're ready for yet, at least not on this program. Let me see here. No, but it is true. Um, uh, 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 if, 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 even if this uh, whole raid never happened, Sean Combs is definitely not an innocent party by any means. This guy has been riddled with controversy since uh, the mid to late 90s. Only, th only thing is that he became big enough and he became uh, wealthy and extraordinarily um, extraordinarily connected and influential enough that he could almost buy his way out of any bit of trouble he wants. Uh, well, yeah, because of his fame and his fan support. Not just fan support, just basically money and connections is a... Uh, let me right, see well, that's I'm, I'm going to take a look at the chat before we continue. Miss Kim is saying, I think it's possible because uh, regarding uh, Puffy killing Tupac because Diddy was trying to have his own career and Tupac overshadowed him. Then he does the memorial for him and makes it big. No. Okay. He uh, like, no Puffy was with Biggie. Puffy was with notorious B.I.G. And Biggie was overshadowing Tupac in order for that to work. It would, it kind of implies that, that Puffy, uh, that Sean Combs had something to do with the death of Biggie. And I don't think he would ever go that far unless he really is that fucking crazy. If he is that fucking crazy, then motherfucker needs to rot in hell. But again, that's rumor and speculation. But no, it's more along the lines of like, no, fuck the uh, the West Coast guys. Fuck Suge Knight. Fuck Tupac. Uh, those guys are going down. And like, because they dare to fuck with my boy Biggie and with Puff Daddy over here uh, on the East Coast. How dare they? Let's fuck them up. But that's, like I said, rumor and innuendo, speculation, all this crazy shit. Um, and yeah, um, uh, for a second, I thought that was Diddy's home. LOL, that's a boss ton of funny, says Matthew Coburn. Thank you, guys. I literally just wanted to show the FBI open up meme. And just, we needed to just get a little bit of levity in here to break up the ridiculousness. Let's see here. Oh, is that the guy they arrested talking? Um, wait, uh, which guy talking? Who you, Who did you mean, Aaron? I, I don't know who you were talking about. Oh, yeah, and Aaron also said, I love Marshall. That song was so hard that um, uh, MGK ran. Yeah, the, and the 90s were scary for rappers. No fucking kidding. That was a re really crazy time, and I remember that shit when I was a kid, and it was just crazy hearing the fucking news stories about it all. Let's see, uh, he wrote a book or went on a podcast before jail. That's uh, that's what started the uh, the the creek, uh, says Tiffany Washington. Let's see, it's okay. There's enough channels that are serious, true. Could have both done both and made it look like a beef, just a theory. That is a bit of a stretch, but and suppose anything is possible. But that's very much just a theory, a crime theory. No, um, now I'm actually tr uh, gonna take a look at this one article. That, uh, that I pulled up from uh, from E! News, from E! Online. But it doesn't really show much more as to what the hell was coming up on uh, on what was seized. Uh, let me take a look here. Blah, and sharing this article for you fine folks at home to follow along. Headline on it reads, uh, Sean Diddy Combs Investigation, What Authorities Found in Home Raids. Following the March 25th raids at Sean Combs' Miami and L.A. homes, details on what was found are coming to light. This comings up by uh, Saba Rab Rabar. Uh, and this was er earlier tonight also, just uh, three hours ago, uh, ago uh, three and a half hours ago. See, new details are emerging about the raids at Sean Diddy Combs' homes. After federal agents ra raided the rapper's multi-million dollar homes in Miami and L.A. on March 25th, sources with knowledge told NBC News March 26th that firearms are found at both properties. Additionally, uh, Homeland Security seized Combs' phones in Miami before he was scheduled to depart for a trip to the Bahamas. Okay, so they grabbed his phones, too. Didn't know that. Ooh. 
So A, he has hmm. more than one, uh, probably like his business and his personal, um, or maybe he's got another uh, phone or something. I don't know. While the investigation is ongoing, a source close to the investigation told NBC News that the raid was connected to allegations of sexual trafficking and sexual assault and the solicitation and distribution of illegal narcotics to firearms. Three women and one man have been inter- tw- uh, interviewed by federal officials in Manhattan in relation to the investigation, the source says. In a March 25th statement to E! News, a rep from Ho- for Homeland Security investigation said that they had, quote, executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation and would provide further in- information as it becomes available. Okay, so I didn't know that they grabbed his phone. We didn't know that. That just came out uh, in the last three hours here. About that. What was that? Is it, Dragon is it just a normal phone that was found? Or was, did they take the phone directly from him? Um, I like it doesn't say in the article. Um, what I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna t- uh, double check over here to, uh, to see if the NBC News story uh has any more data on that. Let me just double check that. Uh, la 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 la. Let's see. No, no. Okay. For law enforcement, it's uh, uh my own property source of a warrant. Okay, warrant is out for uh the Southern District of New York. Yeah, I already know that. Let's see here. Okay, HSI confirmed that the actions seized phones from the before the scheduled department of the Hamas. According to three law enforcement sources familiar with the warrant, Combs was in the Miami area. Okay, yeah, Combs was in the Miami area uh, when authorities executed the search. His sources said it is not clear if Combs made the trip as planned. Representative for, of, for Combs did not immediately respond to NBC's request for comment on Monday. So, yeah, no, it doesn't say if there was like a normal phone or a not normal phone. But here there is a photo from one of the uh, HSI raids. Uh, you have a police officer uh, with a with what appears to be a laptop inside an evidence bag. If I could get yeah. a better look at that, I would. But since I can't, I won't. Yeah, I was just I was just curious if it was just like an extra phone that was at one of the houses or if it was a phone directly on him because that would give us at least a yeah, bit no, more information. Yeah. That was like that was because uh, he keeps the phones on him. Those are his phones. Those are his cell phones. So it's a it's uh what do you call it? Basically, like they found him while he was at the Miami Executive Airport in Opaloka. And um, they they stopped him there. They questioned him there, and they said like, "Okay, well, as part of the warrant, we're gonna have to uh, confiscate your uh, mobile devices as well. So any mobile device that you have on your bot on your person that you have with you, surrender them over." So it wasn't it wasn't ones that he that they found in his home. It was literally his okay. cell phones. And and Aaron Cooper even bring it up. It's probably all in his cloud storage. Then uh, odds are he's got he's on an Android phones. So uh, rather odds are he's on iPhones because you know that's the most popular and it's the most mm-hmm. ancillary in terms of uh, software. So uh, I would say that's the likeliest thing. Um, if I was still working for a cell phone company, I would be able to provide you better information and better sourcing. Although I could not confirm nor deny that stuff. Uh, point mm-hmm. is. There's video that uh, NBC News showed. Stop that. No, stop that. I'm not trying to go to NBC News now. Stop that. Um, <laughs> what do you call it? That they were showing, pulling out actual cases, actual boxes full of stuff. Um, on, if you guys go to the NBC News uh, web, uh, site link, you'll actually be able to see the footage of the, of the, the, of the raid. You see guys in freaking uh, SWAT jackets, freaking... Uh, uh, full body armor, uh, military grade gear. You see vans in his driveway. There's a uh... shoot. Why am I narrating this to you? Let me show you girls in the in the Zoom call. Also, might as well. <laughs> Come on, load, 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 load. There, you're loaded. Shut up. Let me see here. Okay, so yeah, it's, it, it, just so you can get an idea, I'm not showing the actual. Uh, the sound of it that was that's a legal analyst for from NBC talking if you want to listen to it with sound click on it yourselves i don't want to get dinged by NBC shitload of officers shitload of people there uh this is a whole and, and you see that they've got boxes full of different uh paraphernalia and different uh devices that they're pulling out and wait oh shit 
Yeah, so like uh, military paramedics stuff. I don't know if that's a uh, if that was a rifle that belongs to the uh, SWAT officer or if that was something they found. I doubt that it would be uh, uh, one that they found because if it's evidence, then they would have to bag it up. See, they're pulling stuff out there, loading up loads of uh, different cases. So all we know is that they grabbed a lot of shit. So far, uh, so far as we could tell, right? So yeah, so far, yeah, pretty straightforward in the chat. Yeah, they seized all electronics. Yep, they basically grabbed everything. If it was hooked up to Wi-Fi in any way, shape, or form, they grabbed it. Uh, let's see, Aaron Cooper. Then they have to watch a lot of videos and take a lot of notes and make a lot a list of charges before they can get an arrest warrant. Yeah, this is a search warrant as part of their active investigation. So if there's uh, any sort of link with uh, actual like an organized trafficking ring. That is something supremely damning that what's his nuts did he can't be uh involved in to save his life, otherwise he's proper fucked. Um let me see here. Stop that. All right, stop it. Um so thoughts so far, Jose, help me out. What do you uh, what are your thoughts here? I'm st- I'm uh, 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 you you'll forgive me, Juancho. I am trying I am doing my best to try and follow along, but this is oh god. <laughs> It's just too fucking weird for me. Just hang on. I'm gonna hang on. I'm gonna tag over to 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 Zayana Rose and Dragon Fang. All right, go ahead, guys, ladies. Man, a way to throw us in front of you. Huh? <laughs> nice going. That, yeah. that wasn't the intention. Um, honestly, this kind of just blows my mind just because. It... It seems like something you would see in a movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like playing out to be it, it seems. It's, yeah, it's... I, I honestly don't know what to think. Yeah. I mean, I, I've heard of, you know, stuff like this before mm-hmm. on houses and stuff. But it's so out of left field to see a tag team on different sides of the of the country it's just yeah and i I do think it's kind of um, they're definitely riding on the coattails hoping to catch them on some other type of charge while just mastering of oh yeah these people are accusing them so we're gonna be trying to see if those are right oh let's also look at stuff to see if we can get him on any other accounts so Trying to yeah. wait for him to uh, trying to wait uh, for the right moment until he slips up. No, yeah, no. yeah, not so much the right what moment until he's trying slips to up. do right now. Yeah, they, they, uh, not so much uh, wait for him to slip up and see if they if if within uh, what they grabbed if they can find anything else is what it means. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, like so. This is another thing that uh, like w- we mentioned Eminem. Making that shout out to the allegation of uh, of Puffy being involved with fucking uh, the death of Tupac. Um, but another guy who's uh, part of the uh, uh, the shady aftermath uh, fucking uh, umbrella uh, is uh, is protege to both Dr. Dre and uh, Eminem 50 Cent. Who, uh, who apparently an ex of Fifty Cent, a, a lady by the name of Daphne Joy, um, that she was also involved in this in these allegations in the form of her having been apparently being used as Puffy's concubine, uh, and th- I'm putting that as the nicest way I can. So I'll leave that to y'all's as part of this article that I found here from uh page six which i don't really trust page six too much so take this stuff with a grain of salt uh except of course when it comes to uh something that you can actually legitimately verify here which thankfully you can in the uh uh the filings of the lawsuit so this was put up earlier tonight just an hour and a half ago 9 30 so right before we went live here uh, this headline reads, uh, 50 Cent's ex Daphne Joy accused of being Sean Diddy Combs' alleged sex worker in lawsuit. This comes by Sarah Whitman. 50 Cent's ex Daphne Joy was named in Rodney Little Rod Jones' $30 million lawsuit against his former employer, Sean Diddy Combs. 
According to court documents obtained by Page Six Tuesday, the OnlyFans model was accused of being a sex worker involved in the rapper's alleged sex trafficking ring. She was allegedly one of three women Combs 54, quote, bragged about paying a, quote, monthly stipend for their sex work. So... So let me just uh, continue on here. So Joy, 37, has not publicly addressed the allegation and did not respond to Page Six's request for comment. Page Six uh, did not hear back from 50 Cent about the development either. Okay, so there's this lady. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Joy dated 50 Cent, birth name Curtis Jackson, for one year beginning in 2011. Uh, and they welcomed a son, Sire, in September 2012. The In The Club rapper has minced no words regarding Combs' several lawsuits that have accumulated over the last few months, often taking to social media to mock him. So yeah, no, 50 Cent, he's been having the time of his life, apparently. Uh, Jones sued Combs in February for alleged sexually assaulting him. Yep, 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 we already uh, knew this part from the uh, Slate article. Combs and his enemy team, Sean Hawley. So yeah, no, this lady, uh, uh, Daphne Joy, she's been... Uh, uh, Named as one of the uh, the the women that he, that Puffy would keep on just for sex and for fun, which is fucking ridiculous. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Who's this Holly person? Hang on. Give me a second. Holly, Holly, Holly. Oh, sh- uh, uh, yeah, Sean Holly, his attorney. Um, uh, freaking hell. Yeah, his reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. Holly further slammed. We have overwhelming indisputable proof. Yeah, we heard that part. Uh, our attempts to share this proof with Mr. Jones' attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored as Bla- Mr. Blackburn has refused to return our calls. We will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. Jones' representative did not immediately reply to say uh, page six's request for a comment on Combs' lawyer's response. So... Yeah, no, uh, like it's uh, pretty wild to say that this is a whole web of madness that you know uh, that like this lady Daphne Joy, she's uh, one of the three uh, women who are, uh, who are part of this lawsuit. I don't really think it was cool uh, that this was name dropped by uh, by uh, uh, by the news if that wasn't something that she was looking to do yet, but. If she's involved in the lawsuit, then I hope that she gets uh, whatever form of justice that she is owed. And yeah, so and if, if like I mentioned earlier, there's clearly no love lost uh, between Fifty and uh, and Diddy over here. So fuck them is basically uh, Fifty Cent's uh, response to him. <laughs> so I really wish that there was a uh, more info here, but uh, g- give me your thoughts on this article there, Jose. And no skipping out this time, Joe. <laughs> no, I, I, I get you. I get you. Um, yeah, I know. Um, as far as the lawsuit goes, um, well, I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, because uh, Puff Daddy, whatever what you want to call him, I'm gonna call him Diddy. Diddy. It's easy. Obviously, Diddy. I mean, I mean it. I mean, is it safe to assume that Diddy has not suffered any fucking consequences from uh, 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 from uh, from the public about this? Obviously, no, not yet. This shit only came, uh, went down forty eight hours ago. People are going bananas now because, like, why? Like, all of this stuff is basically coming up in one big snowball, like we mentioned earlier. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, well, I mean, we the last time we've talked about a lawsuit a, a, that that brought someone someone big down was, of course, Vince McMahon. But that's a whole different uh, can of worms. Yeah. No, so we're we're, we're not going to touch the whole Vince McMahon thing. That's for another time, Jose. Um, that's for another time. But in comparison with Diddy, this is uh, well with Diddy. It's different as far as the, as far as the public goes. Like. He, obviously, he still has his fans. Obviously, he still has people who adore him. So, they're going to follow him no matter what. You really think so? You don't think that they're going to... You really think that they're going to try and uh, uh, square peg this round hole uh, and, uh, try to, and uh, try to justify, oh, hey, if he does have a bunch of compromat uh about people in uh in uh sexual deviant bullshit there's a good reason for it what good reason could there possibly be what explanation could there possibly be on it i don't know dude but listen we live it listen let me put it this way to this day 
to this day, like it's not outside the realm of possibility that, that there are still fans who support him, Juan I mean, to this day, we still have fucking people who will still support uh I'm gonna draw drop his name, who we'll still support R. Kelly despite everything we know about him that has been made public. I don't see how or why though. I don't get it either. But it's there. It exists. They exist, Juancho. Okay, and what's the, and and what is and what's that about then? Is a, I know there's going to be people who are still psychotically going to uh, defend this guy, but I want to know your thoughts on this shit. I I want to know what you're thinking about uh, about just the immensity of this uh, of this lawsuit uh, of the of the raids, how dramatic it was, why all these people are all coming out almost one to one to one. You know, tell me something here, man. Yeah, no, I mean, considering that, it, considering, like I said, that he has survived a, a one, one controversy after another since the 90s, um, I honestly don't know if he's going to survive this one. I think this might be the one that's going to nail him. At this point, I guess it just becomes a matter of what? Like, like, Jose, like Angel said, um, it, it, since we brought up the, the whole thing with his involvement, uh, alleged involvement, La la la, fucking. Um, that uh, that like considering was, how many years he has dodged. Uh, uh, sorry, Juan. I, I hate to, I hate to cut you off, but considering how uh, how long Diddy has dodged uh, bullets um, over the years, I guess it was just only a matter, and not a matter of if, but when. You really think uh, you, you really think that's the case? Yes. Hmm. All right, uh, Zayana Dragonfang. How about yourselves? Um, well, again, like everything about this person, we only know from what you just told us because we don't really keep up with the person. Yeah. Stuff, so, really. Okay. No, I, I understand that. Yeah. Um, so, I don't think we can really make any comments on that, really. Yeah. Know, other than what you just, so. No, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Um, as far as uh, with the information that you know about him now, then in that case, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, uh, on uh, the story here? Like, uh, uh, like uh, since we, we were ta- uh, mentioning the uh, the lawsuits, the raid that happened, what did he has been uh, alleged of uh, alleged to uh, be involved in? You know, thinking that he's like a gangster or whatever the shit. Um, well, if he is, what you know, if he has it all this stuff. You know, it's it's just like with anyone. It's only a matter of time before you slip up and you get fucked up. Mm-hmm. But so, he is, you know, if he hasn't done anything, then... Then he has nothing to worry about. It's just uh, if they find evidence against him or not. That's like the biggest thing right now. So we just have to wait. Yeah. yeah. It's all a waiting game right now. So at this point, yeah, at this, I, I think you're right with that. Um, if we're just waiting for him, uh, for his, uh, for uh, for any sort of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Any sort of uh, flip up, yeah, confirmation, or at the very least, any sort of uh, info coming out of uh, the investigation here uh, and how that'll uh, uh, affect the uh, uh, the lawsuits. Then, I guess that's what we really need to uh, wait on here. And I'm double checking, and I'm seeing if there was any other. Uh, uh, yeah, what what to... do you think would be on all of his um, all of his devices and everything? Like, what do you think they're they're going to be looking for? Well, just speculation, based on what they said. It's uh, you know um, the R word and also the trafficking. So well, the crazy thing is that apparently, according to folks who had. Uh, who had mentioned uh, the story over the last 48 hours. Uh, apparently when uh, a- a- apparently uh, Puffy has uh, every single room in his house bugged. Every single one of them has a camera. So Wait, what? Okay, that's suspicious. No, 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 that, that's suspicious. That's not just suspicious. That's fucking gr- uh, gross. It's fucking creepy. Yeah. So if he's and, and got he's, people so over. He has kids? Yeah, he's got children. He's got 
no, 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 that's where I draw the line. I changed my mind. No, no, that's fucked up. And now I'm a little more skewed towards. Okay, no, you're hiding something. Yeah, something is going on. No normal person will put cameras in every single room in the house. That is very that that's that's all right. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. What's more, uh, apparently he would have different types of uh, soirees at his at his homes. Of the, <laughs> of the okay, the scales are starting to hit more in the. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, if there's anything, if there's any way to the uh, accusations here, uh, then it's going to be in the form of video evidence. If he even has any kind of uplink from his devices, or if they're saved. Oh there, no, he has maybe- to. He has to. All those things usually require internet access and no, you have to upload them so it's just does he go through and delete them after a certain period of time we that's going to be the thing we do not know yet but we will learn what we uh, what we find out in time uh but yeah so i i changed i changed my mind i'm now my I, i'm very on the uh, yeah, scale oh, fuck this guy <laughs> oh yeah I don't blame you. And like the crazy thing is that uh, he's had plenty of different types of uh, uh, legal troubles in the past over the years. Uh, just to name a couple things over here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see here. Just uh, just off the top. On Dece- and I'm de- literally this is just all is publicly available shit on his Wikipedia. Uh, let's see here. In April 15th, 1999, shortly after the music video for Nas is You Can Hate Me Now, uh, aired on MTV, featuring Combs being crucified, he and two others bur- uh, burst into Nas's former manager's office and attacked him. Stout, uh, 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 the manager by the name of Steve Stout, sued Combs in June 1999, resulting in Combs paying him an out-of-court settlement of half a million dollars. Originally charged with assault for the event, Combs pled guilty on September 8th, 1999 to a charge of harassment and was sentenced to spend one day in an anger management class. So that's number one. Number two. Wow. On December 27th, 1999. So not even freaking another year later, like a little over half a year, like seven months later or whatever. Um, let's see. Combs, his then girlfriend Jennifer Lopez, and his protege rapper Shine were at Club New York in Times Square in Manhattan when gunfire broke out. A prosecutor said that the incident was sparked by an argument at the club between Combs and another patron. Uh, Jesus, God Almighty. Uh, let me see here. After a police investigation, Combs and Shine were arrested uh, for weapons violations and other charges. Combs was charged with four weapons-related charges and with bribing his driver, Wardell Fen- uh, Fenderson, to claim ownership of his gun. With a gag order in place, the highly publicized trial began. The- Combs' attorneys were Johnny Cochran and Benjamin Braffman. You can see where this is going. Johnny yeah. Cochran was his lawyer? No way. Oh my no. god. Not a joke. Not a lie. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Uh, Combs was found not guilty on all charges. Shine was convicted on five of his eight charges and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Combs and Jennifer Lopez broke up shortly after. A lawsuit was filed by Fenderson, who said he suffered emotional damage after the shooting, uh, was settled in February 2004. Lawyers for both sides, having agreed to keep the settlement term secret, said the matter had been resolved to the satisfaction of all parties. Uh, in 2001... He was arrested for driving with a suspended license in Florida. In, 20, uh, in 2003, the National Labor Committee revealed that factories producing the Sean John clothing brand in Honduras were violating Honduran labor laws. <laughs> Among the accusations uh, were, uh, uh, were that workers were subjected to body searches and involuntary pregnancy tests. Bathrooms were what? locked. What? Yeah, no, that's from his shit for his Sean John brand. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let's see. Employees who were, were, fo- uh, were uh, yeah, bathrooms were locked and access tightly controlled. That's gross. Uh, let me see here. Employees were forced yeah, to work overtime. Over yeah. Wages. Jesus. Yeah. So that that's a that's just 2003. Uh, let's see here. Uh, bu- 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 how do you fucking get out of that? <laughs> <laughs> fucking bullshit. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. 
employees, you know, uh, Charles uh, uh, Kernigan of the National Labor Committee told the New York Times that Sean Puff Daddy obviously has a lot of clout. He can literally do a lot overnight to help those workers. Combs responded with an extensive investigation telling reporters, I'm as pro-worker as they get. On February 14th, 2004, Kernigan announced that improvements have been implemented at the factory, including adding air conditioner and water purification systems, firing the most abusive supervisors, and allowing the formation of a labor union. Okay, cool. Fuck you, though. Uh, 2005... Uh, DJ Richard Dearlove who had been performing under the name Diddy since 1992, nine years before Bo- Combs started using the even uh, P. Diddy uh, the, uh, saw an injunction in the High Court of Justice in London he accepted an out of court settlement of 10,000 uh, pounds in damages and more than 100,000 pounds in costs. Combs can no longer use the name Diddy in the UK where, his, uh, where he's still known as P. Diddy. So he can't go by Diddy he like he can uh, he still uses P Diddy when he's in the UK, so fuck you for that. An assault charge against Combs filed in Michigan till uh, by uh, was resolved in two thousand five. Jesus, like he's had a lot of shit. Yeah, see, here's what's up. In March two thousand eight, the LA Times claimed the notorious B.I.G. and Combs orchestrated the nineteen ninety four robbery and mor- murder, uh, 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 a robbery and shoot- a shooting of Tupac Shakur substantiating the claim with supposed FBI documents. The newspaper later retracted the story, acknowledging that the documents have been fabricated. Dexter Isaac, an associate of a record management executive, Jimmy Henchman, confessed in 2012 that he had shot Tupac on Henchman's orders. You see what I mean? Like, it's like, so which is it? Is it this fucking thing or was it the other fucking guy? Uh, fucking, uh, Keith D. Jesus Christ. You see what I mean? This shit's so fucking convoluted. Uh, February it is. Uh, June 2015, uh, Combs was arrested for aggravated assault after an altercation with his son's football coach in uh, UCLA. On July 2nd, the assault charges were dropped due to lack of evidence. February 6, 2021, Combs filed a $60 million lawsuit against the new owners of Sean John, claiming the firm used his likeness without his permission and fabricated quotes, endorsing their new product line. In 2023, uh, Combs filed a racial discrimination lawsuit in, against uh, uh, Diageo, uh, uh, Diageo, claiming that the spirits company deliberately, quote, kneecapped the marketing sa- and sales of his Ciroc Vodka and De Leon tequila labels. In January 2024, Combs voluntarily withdrew the lawsuit with prejudice and also severed the business relationship. And March 4th is where we have the uh, beginning of this mess. Yeah, and March 25th, yep. So there's also shit with sexual misconduct allegations from 27, dating back as far as 2017, along with shit that happened uh, against uh, uh, against his partner Cassie, uh, full name Cassie Ventura, that happened in the back of... Uh, uh, wait, what the shit? The lawsuit also suggested that Combs was responsible for blowing up then bo- uh, like uh, Ventura's then boyfriend Kid Cuddy's car. What? Kid Cuddy Whoa, got his car what? Up? Mm-hmm. Jesus. Jesus you see what I'm fucking saying? Like this kind of like this he's had his fair share of shit and like literally I cannot understand how he got uh, how he's gotten away with half of the stuff being fucking dropped, other stuff being taken to court, and he wins. Other was stuff... Just, because like, if you have money, you can do anything and get out of anything. Yes. One word, Everything Honcho. has a money. price you have to pay. Uh, yeah. Oh my God, I'm gonna Unfortunately. I'm going to fucking aneurysm over this asshole. Oh, Tam Tam's in the chat. Hey, up there, shamanistic unicorn, Tam. Welcome to the Black Files. We appreciate you here. Thank you for joining back in. Let's see, Wajo, next. don't have an aneurysm. Save it for Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Ow. he could wait. <laughs> Ow. That hurts. <laughs> that hurts personally. Okay, has a... Dear Lord. And this is just shit that you can look up without having to uh, dig, like, too deep. Just that that freaking Source article was fucking uh, batshit insane enough as it is. Uh, I'm fucking terrified of that shit. I don't know how much further uh, I could go without losing my mind over all of this because it's fucking... It's it's just nerve-wracking, and the fact that... Diddy's also uh, got these allegations of like 
uh, sexual assault and misconduct and trafficking and whatever the hell, with it being considered trafficking by by uh, the one lady that we mentioned over here, uh, what's her name? Uh, Daphne Joy. That with her being his like indentured servant or whatever, like his concubine, that you pay a monthly stipend just to have sex with her, uh, like that can go right up there with uh, illegal prostitution or with trafficking in like for for sexual purposes. If it went, if it was just in one state, that's a that's one thing. But if it was uh, she was traveling with him, and that goes. Uh, that's what it makes it federal, which is why I think Homeland Security and not like uh, New York or California law enforcement locally uh, got uh, uh, got involved. I think that's why it went federal. So, so that's kind of putting a little more of a of a clear focus on this situation, at least from what I can tell here. Um, I don't know what else we can say about all this shit other than fuck this guy. Uh, I think this is kind of a shorter episode. What do you guys think? Yeah, it is because yeah, no, there's yeah. not much else to say. Fuck yeah. Diddy, like Jesus, man. Like, well, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to kneecap the story. I'm not trying to freaking uh, play it down or nothing like that. I'm simply saying, like, there's only so much reaction and oh my fucking god that I can exclaim in the course of like a couple hours over here, and I've really what the fucked out by now i am that fucking tired i am that fucking wiped out over here over all this bullshit um i think i'm gonna go ahead and have us wrap uh for tonight um you guys cool with that yeah of course yep. yeah that's yep. fine all right uh in that case uh Zayana rose dragon fang i'll start with y'all too uh go ahead and give us your final thoughts if you'd be so kind this has just been a crazy freaking roller coaster ride. This is a roller coaster I want to get off the Yeah. Well, it looks like we're just. It's insane. Started. Yeah, with the animation that you gave us. Um, it's like at first it was, oh, yeah. Another maybe, witch hunt, maybe. Maybe another witch hunt, like, like Sis said. And then as we got more information, we're like, oh, oh, maybe this might not be a witch hunt. And. We, we had on the other side. So basically, we were holding two paddles, and we're just like, we're kind of like, you know, holding both of them up, like, you know, don't know. And then you give them the information, we're like, no, no, we're waving the notes, like, no, 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 no. It's basically, it was basically a teeter totter. Yeah. Where it's, oh, no, no, no. And yeah, then we hear more, we're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Dear no. Lord. Yeah, no, this, this was a. This ended in a sit so yes. um, I cringe at what other information is going to come out because of this investigation. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we don't have the full picture yet, but but already it's there's a lot of incriminating evidence now. Yeah. So, so that's just piling onto what was already, you know, come to light. Yeah, the train track doesn't look so good in the future. Well, like you said, it's it's been a wild roller coaster. It's it's not a teeter totter. This is definitely a freaking roller coaster. We haven't even hit the peak yet. Began as a teeter totter. What's that? It began as a teeter totter. Oh, I get you. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. No. This it's gonna be. Uh... It's gonna be wild. Yeah, it's a free fall. The, the board broke, and we're just plummeting. God, it's just plummeting now. Yeah, no, we're we're in so much trouble here. Um, yeah, better grab your parachute. <laughs> all right, how about yourself, yep. as a uh, your final thoughts on all this with uh, uh, with the, the world of uh, of Diddy and his uh, very horrible, terrible, not good day with Homeland Security up his ass. <laughs> well, like I said, man, this guy can only die, can only dodge so many bullets. Like, he is not invincible. He is not immune from the law. And it's only going to be a matter of time. It's going to happen. And personally, I want to see this son of a bitch go down because uh, actions have consequences and this asshole has been well 
dodging con- uh, his consequences for a very, very, very long time. I would actually, I would actually caution us in going straight into burn the witch mode, only because, like, only because. Well, we have to. I, I have to say it. You know, this is America, and uh, in our country, you it, the law states you are innocent uh, until pr- until proven guilty, and until he's actually convicted of a crime uh by a jury of his peers he maintains his innocence and uh, and may continue to enjoy his uh his, the, the the uh benefit of the doubt until then you can tell i'm not fucking enthused about this either but we have to be uh as legit objective as, uh, objective as possible we can say no oh, i i get it guy. i we could say fuck like, this guy I, we want but like if he didn't yeah, no, I I understand where you're coming from, Juancho, but god damn, it is hard for me to be objective with this guy with the launch with the dirty launch with the dirty laundry that he has. Like the the, the uh, like you said, it's it's only going to uh, get more chaotic. And as like I, the thing that that really twisted my pretzel here was how so much information and so much data was coming out while people were trying to find where Diddy was uh, before he was pinned down at the uh, Miami Executive Airport, where it uh, where it got to a point of it being almost like a, uh, almost like noise and disinformation, and that's what I'm worried about. And I'm personally worried about this shit spiraling out of control into people blabbing that, oh, no, he's connected with the Illuminati and all this other crazy bullshit and all that stuff without concrete evidence we can't accuse him of something that hasn't happened or at the very least can't be proven to have happened you know what i mean and until then uh we have to we can be pissed we can be uh objectively horrified and we can empathize with uh the uh people who are uh leveling these lawsuits against him uh, and we can uh sympathize with them um, un- however, until or unless he's charged and convicted, there's we he has to have uh, <clears throat> the fucking benefit of the doubt. You can tell I'm trying to my best to keep my biases out too here, but you know, like like I said, you know, yeah, he should not have to. He should not get to dodge consequences and uh, and. Uh, and he should not have to. He should not get to uh, dodge uh, getting away with this shit uh, if he really has been getting away with shit all this time. So I understand what you mean, Jose. Yeah. All right. Uh, now so we're wrapping up. Uh, sorry, were you going to say something else before the thing? Oh no, no. I was going to actually get into what to expect for tomorrow night for us. Yeah, Mark. thank you. I was going to. I was going to fucking say that. What can we expect tomorrow on tomorrow night's edition of Wrestle Rewind? Well, for Wrestle Rewind, which is every Thursday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, right here on YouTube and Kick, uh, we'll be uh, uh, we're, uh, along with our we're going to be doing our weekly reviews of the three most exciting professional wrestling programs in North America today. That is WWE NXT, AEW Dynamite, and TNA Impact. Uh, on the WWE NXT, um, the main event, of course, being the Wolf Dogs, Juan's favorite tag team name, <laughs> uh, Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin take on Alpha Academy. So that's going to be fun to look forward to. And they also prepared a special video package to uh, hype things up for their upcoming pay-per-view event, NXT Stand and Deliver, which is going to be fun. Um, on AEW Dynamite, which was tonight, um, we'll be talk- we'll be discuss- we'll, uh, along with our reviews, we'll discuss the main event of Swerve Strickland going one-on-one against Kenosuke Takeshita. And, of course, over on the TNA Impact side, making its return, uh, do don't worry, folks. Um, it's going to be a match concept called the Eight Four Match, uh, where the uh, where eight. Uh, it's called the Eight Four One Match, featuring eight knockout contestants, uh, com- uh, knockout participants competing against each other. More info on that tomorrow. Okay, so eight ladies starting in the ring, and then what eliminates to four? Uh, more to- info tomorrow. Fine. More info tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. I'm over here. I'm trying to like, like, wait, I, I think I remember this match stipulation, but, but okay, fine. 
And we'll get to the info dump tomorrow. Trust me. You want to save it. All right, fine. We'll save it for tomorrow. And as for my final thoughts, like I said, I'm over here doing my best to govern my passions and my personal outrage about the shit that may have happened to these folks. However, since I don't want to get fucking sued by Diddy, I don't want him to try to put out a hit on me or whatever, you know, allegedly he may be involved in. But like Jose said, he can't, if he's been getting away with shit all these years, he cannot be allowed to get away with shit for much longer. It ain't right. Actions have consequences and you can only, um, you can only, uh, avoid consequences for so long and like y'all said it was it was more of a it wasn't a question it wasn't a matter of if but a question of when uh he slips up or when there's enough evidence to convict him of anything if he's done anything so uh, like i'm doing my best to try to not just be fucking rageful about this shit because i'm obviously we're none of us here at the Ravens flock are fans of human trafficking of uh sexual trafficking in any way shape or form none of us are who would be the only trouble is this guy's fucking slipperier than uh than a uh, grease covered uh ball of teflon uh it's it's it, 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 it's it, he's got more, um, enough money and clout to to either uh, pay for his problems to go away or for him to win in court he literally got johnny fucking cochran in one of his loss in one of the lawsuits that he had and won he got off free uh, free and clear so that's some horse shit but unfortunately that's the horse shit that we live in in our american justice system eh. but uh Here's hoping that the uh long arm of the law catches up to him in terms of uh, what he may actually truly be guilty of should there be any evidence of a crime found. Um, that being said, I am not a fan of his horse shit. I do believe that he's been hiding shit, especially about the deaths of Biggie and Tupac. Um, this madness with him having these uh, allegations against him for uh, the sexual mis uh, uh, mistreatment and abuse and assault that he allegedly may have uh committed against these three ladies and this one guy which is fucking crazy i don't fucking want to believe that shit but i wouldn't put it past him but you better believe folks that whatever updates that we'll get on this story since this does appear in the darker side of nerd and pop culture you better believe that you'll be able to see and hear it right here on this show, the uncensored and uncompromising interview and review podcast of the Ravens flock, The Black Files, hosted by yours truly, Juan Arouse, as we delve into the darker side of nerd and pop culture, exposing the truth and bringing it out into light. Be sure to request access when we go live every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, simulcasting on YouTube and Kick. Hit the subscribe and the follow button, ring the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our content. Become an inner flock by hitting the join button. And until next time, continue to follow us on Facebook.com slash Ravens flock. Twitter.com slash Ravensflock13, Instagram.com slash Ravensflock online, Kick.com slash Ravensflock, and of course, remember to hit the subscribe button and ring that tiny little notification bell right here on our flagship platform, YouTube.com slash Ravensflock. Humble home of the Black Files, Los Amigos Play, Wrestle Rewind, and the Ravensflock. For Jose Caspona, Angel Mendes, and Rose Cosplay, and Dragon Fang, Cosplay, I am Juan Rouse. This has been the Black Files, and we are. 